Hey guys, um, just out here waiting on the meteor shower. I keep looking, but don't see anything. Do you guys think it's still gonna come? Okay, well come on, let's find out. Man, I have been looking and looking and looking for this meteor shower all night, just hoping to find it. I've been looking in every direction, through my telescope, with my own eyes, I've been looking and and I can't see anything. Man, I'm really starting to think that it's not coming. I am getting so discouraged and I'm starting not to trust the people that told me it was coming in the first place. Man, I was so excited to see this meteor shower. Well, I guess you can't always get what you want. Time to pack up. But before I do that, I need to call Big Steve and let him know I'm leaving so that he can give me a ride. Oh, hey Noah. Man, aren't you kind of busy doing a meteor shower? What you calling me for, bro? Yeah, man, well, I was looking for the meteor shower, but after a long night of looking and not seeing anything, I think I'm just gonna pack up and go home, man. I'm so discouraged. I don't really think it's ever gonna come. What? You can't leave now, man. You've been waiting so long for this meteor shower. Don't give up, bro. It was promised it will come. I get it, I get it. You're frustrated, you're upset, you're feeling emotional. Maybe you should just eat a Snickers or something. Who knows, but I'll tell you what. You give me like five minutes, and if you still wanna leave, I'll come pick you up. How's that sound? That sounds good, man. Let me hear the story. Man, remember how we've been talking about Abraham and Sarah and how they went so long and all they ever really wanted was a son of their own who could fulfill and go with the prophecy that was in God's plan? <laughs> yeah, and they finally had that, but then in this story they finally had their son Isaac and God tells Abraham hey man you have to go sacrifice Isaac <laughs> what let me backtrack a little bit I guess because you know we have Jesus to forgive us of our sins and to really do everything so we could get to heaven well in the Old Testament which was the time that Abraham at the beginning of the Bible in that Old Testament, that was Abraham and Sarah's time. They didn't have Jesus yet. So they actually had to sacrifice animals or offer an animal, the first of whatever they had, to God to get their sins forgiven, to make sure that they were right. Because we know that the cost of sin is death. And that's literally what they had to do. That's what Jesus did for us, but that's what animals had to do for them. So God says to Abraham, hey, you waited your entire life for this son, but now you have to sacrifice him to me. And Abraham's like, what? This is my son who is supposed to be the father of many nations. The whole bloodline is supposed to run through him. What are you talking about, God? And God just said, hey, you need to trust me that everything will be okay. So he takes Isaac, he takes a bunch of his workers, and they start hiking up to this mountain. And kind of before, probably maybe half a mile, I made that part up, but not far away, he tells all of his workers, he says, hey guys, you wait here, me and Isaac are gonna do the rest of this thing. And they start hiking up, and finally they get to the spot, they see the altar, where normally there'd be an animal. And Isaac's like, uh, Dad, I see the altar, I see the stuff for the sacrifice, where's the animal? And Abraham's like, hey, God's already provided for it, don't worry, son. And he ties Isaac up and puts him on the altar. And right before the thing happens, God says to Abraham, stop. You've been faithful in what I've told you to do Get your son off the altar, and here is an animal. And God provided for Abraham. He provided and saved Isaac. And because of all of that, because of Abraham's faith, for him waiting and being patient and just following what God gave him, we eventually got Jesus. We eventually got salvation. And we got a place where we no longer have to make sacrifices because Jesus already did it but it happened so many years ago because of Abraham. So Big Steve, you're saying that even though I haven't seen anything except a plane, which was kind of cool, I should stay here? I should keep trusting that this meteor shower is gonna come? 
Yeah, that's right, man. Ever since Abraham trusted God, the entire Bible is filled with stories about when people trusted God, God provided and kept them safe. But it also has a bunch of stories that when people stopped trusting God, God stopped protecting them and giving them beautiful things. So you really have two options, buddy. The first is to not trust God. Go home and miss the meteor shower that you've been looking forward to for an entire year. Or the second option is to trust God and let God provide for you. So that's what I encourage you to do, man. Take that second option. Trust God and let God provide something beautiful for you tonight. You know what, Big Steve? You're right. Second option it is. I am determined to stay here. If God provides for all these people, I know that he can provide for me too. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay here and I'm just going to trust and believe. I'm going to trust and believe, trust and believe, trust and believe that this meteor shower is coming. I know it's coming, man. And now I'm even more excited than before. I cannot wait till this meteor shower comes. It's going to be so cool, so epic. I can't wait. I'm going to trust in God. <laughs> You're gonna stay? That's incredible, buddy. I'm so proud of you for trusting God. Man, I don't think God is gonna disappoint you tonight. I think because you are choosing to trust God, God is gonna provide something incredible for you. I'm so proud of you. But you know what? I think it's time for the big idea. everybody stand up with me because it's time for that big idea and today it's an easy one it is trust God because sometimes it's as easy as just trusting God so this one's easy and I know you could say it with me it is trust God so on the count of three we are gonna scream that big idea together in one two three trust God. trust God. Trust God. Trust God.